When I saw that this show was being brought to us by the same people that gave us the end of the effing world, that was enough to draw me in. But then once I started watching the show that's actually based on the writer and creator Richard Gadd's real experience, I couldn't stop watching it. This is genuinely one of the best things that I've seen on TV this year. From the way that it's shot, to the phenomenal acting that Gad provides, and to the level of depth and darkness that the show goes to. The telling of this haunting, confusing, and most importantly, real-life story based on a stalker was just incredible. So I thought I'd break down the show, the haunting ending, and everything that I feel made it so good. So let's get right into it. Here is my review of Baby Reindeer. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. Honestly, I was really taken back by this show. It was so complexly brilliant in allowing us to see inside the mind of Donny and the trauma that he suffered and how it really messed with his mind on how to feel about the complicated feelings that he had about his stalker, Martha. He was petrified for his life, but at the same time, he was deeply fascinated with her due to the interest that she was showing him and her providing him the compliments that he wanted to hear. He wanted his ego fed, and selfishly, she was doing that. As before then, he was at rock bottom in the way that he felt about himself. The standout episodes for me in this show were episodes 4 and 6. Episode 4 was the flashback episode that saw us five years in the past where he met his abuser, Darian O'Connor. We saw a completely different person in Donnie at the start of this episode. One that was smiling, filled with laughter, and had hope and optimism. And by the end of it, after having seen Donny go through everything that he did in some of the hardest to watch scenes I've seen on TV for quite some time, we saw a broken man and him being the shell of the person that he was when the episode began, even from when the whole show first began. He wasn't that same person that was there at the start of episode 4. I actually had to look away at points during this episode because it was genuinely so heartbreaking and difficult to watch. It really pushed the boundaries in showing us what happened to him and it went to levels where it wanted to make us feel uncomfortable to show us just how uncomfortable Donny was and how it changed his life forever. The scene where he woke up and when it cut to black, it was just awful. Seeing the hold that Darian had over him as well and him being this charming person who was promising him the career that he'd always dreamed of and not being this villainous person and the impression that he gave off showed just how evil of a person he was. He broke Donny and got him to a point where he felt as though he was his. It was painfully haunting and it all just felt so real. In episode 6, the climax of the episode was the speech that Donny did on stage when he revealed everything that he kept pent up inside of him since the incident. Donny hated himself, was insecure, and thought that he was pretty much worthless, all because of what happened when he was abused. He permanently lived in fear of what other people thought of him about many different aspects of his life. Whether that be his comedy, which he kept a secret, his sexuality, what others would think about him being with a transgender woman, and even the fact that he was abused. We saw that he didn't want to go to the police about what Darian did because he almost didn't want to accept that it had happened, as it would almost become real if he did. Something which was clearly extremely unhealthy for him as it had long-term effects in the way that he acted. However, when nobody was laughing at his jokes on stage, he said the line to himself, You didn't see anything in it. You only saw me. This was him acknowledging and coming to the realization that Darian used him and his hopes and aspirations in order to take advantage of him. From there, the speech that Donnie went on to deliver was just simply incredible. It was so emotion-filled and you could tell that him releasing it all was like him finally exhaling for the first time in many years. Richard Gadd absolutely smashed this scene. The long drawn out shots, the passion in his voice, the pain in the way that his emotions were on his face and the utter relief that was coming out of him due to finally vocalizing all of his insecurities and horrific experiences after all this time was something which was just bittersweet to watch. You were happy for him because he was finally being honest with himself and those around him, but he was doing it on a public stage. This was definitely an individual standout moment in the entirety of the show for me. The story in itself with Martha was one that was genuinely haunting. She was absolutely crazy, and Jessica Cunning was fantastic at playing that stalker that was emotionless, but also filled with extreme emotions too. The frustration that I felt, and I imagine many other people felt too, when Donny was going to the police and they were doing nothing about it, and then when he was put on the same level as Martha was extremely frustrating too. Nobody was taking him seriously, and I felt so disappointed that he was being let down. There wasn't actually that much violence in this show, which I thought was a really good choice. The horror of somebody just being in your space, outside your home, in your inbox, and around a corner is far more damaging than the glass that he took to the head. 
I thought the conflicted feelings that he had with Martha over hating and wanting her dead but then finding himself drawn to her was something that I imagine you could end up feeling in that specific situation. The only person that was feeding you compliments is the person that's obsessed with you. And when you remove that person from your life, you're then back to having low self-esteem and not knowing how to feel. So his obsession with listening to the recordings of her saying nice things to him was almost like a comfort blanket. With regards to the ending of the series, having him walking into a bar, being sat there upset, just like how she was in the very first episode, and him forgetting his wallet and being given the drink for free, the kind gesture that he did to Martha at the start of the show, it almost insinuated that the cycle could so very easily all happen again. But the bartender this time could end up being the person that Donnie was. Donnie's self-esteem was at rock bottom, relying on listening to Martha's compliments in order to feel good. He even related to her and felt for her when she was discussing why she called him her baby reindeer. So it almost implied how being shown a little bit of attention and care when you're at your lowest can lead to something completely unexpected. I don't think Donnie was going to continue the cycle at all though. On the flip side, he could have been sitting there looking at the bartender and realizing that he was essentially him on the reverse side of the exchange. With regards to the way that this show was shot, it was just absolutely gorgeous. It was so glossy, yet also so grainy at the same time. I know it's weird to say, but the dark oak wood and red color palette really matched the tone and feel that the show was going for. It looked just as good as the end of the effing world, which I remember at the time watching and thinking it looked stunning. The thing that I find incredible about this show is that it was all directly based on Richard Gadd's first-hand experience with dealing with a stalker when he was in his 20s. Filming scenes like what occurred in episode 4 and 6 must have been so hard to do. To enter that space in your mind and act it out, it's just remarkable. I loved the fact that this show really went with its own pacing. Seven episodes, not eight or ten, ranging from 25 minutes to 45 minutes. There was no set structure, and it really felt like they just allowed Gad to tell the story in the way that he wanted to, and that came across the screen really well. I do genuinely think that this is one of the most powerful, interesting, haunting, and real shows that I've seen this year. If you've not seen it yet, I really do recommend giving it a watch. I don't think you'll have seen anything like it before. So, there you have it, my review of Baby Reindeer. If you want to see more videos where I break down your favorite shows, then click on the card in the top corner. Or alternatively, you can head over to my channel where you'll find them all. And finally, if you'd like to see what I rate the latest movies that don't quite make the cut to getting a dedicated video, then head over to my Letterboxd profile. It's where I rate the latest releases in real time. What did you think of Baby Reindeer? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, thanks for tuning into the video and I'll see you in the next one.